Hey everybody, how's it going? So something I enjoy doing is collecting the hockey cards and I kind of stopped for a while, um, but I've kind of gotten back into it a little bit. Um, my favorite sets growing up, collecting, were Upper Deck MVP. I collected them, I started collecting them back in around 2000. I collected them for a few years and then just kind of it faded off. I think the last year I had was 2006, 2007 which I just recently found some packs I'd opened, so I put them into a binder. So that's what has kind of got me back into um, wanting to collect hockey cards. I find it a lot of fun. I like, it's relaxing, I find, opening packs, um, putting them in order, and then putting them in binders. I enjoy that. So without further ado, I'm gonna be opening a blaster box of Upper Deck MVP 2019-2020. Um, I got this for $30 at Walmart, so let's see what's in it. I'm looking forward to it. I haven't looked at any of the cards. I don't know what they look like. I don't know, I haven't looked at a checklist. I don't know what's in this. Let's do it, let's open it up and have some fun. All right, so here we go. Maybe I'll grab that Philip Zadina rookie card. 21 packs, five cards per pack, so. All right, first pack, let's dive in. What do we got here? I like the design. Andres Janssen, nice. I'm a Maple Leafs fan, so these cards, I always enjoy getting Maple Leafs. Mark Giordano, so is that an actual signature, or is that just, it doesn't look like it, so what is that? I'll have to keep going through, but maybe it's a signature, I don't know. It usually says, so I don't think it is. But anyways, that's still pretty cool. Brady Kachuk, Linus, Allmark. Just reading the back, this is, he says you get a silver script parallel, one in every seven pack, so I'm thinking that's what this is. I figured it wasn't a real signature, but that's still really cool. So, uh, yeah, that is my first insert card, I guess. Nice, another leaf. Interesting, so this is Nazem Kadri. He's This picture is for the Leafs, but he was playing on the Colorado Avalanche this season, so I guess that was his last last year with the Leafs. Tatar, Mark Stone. I had Brian Rust on my fantasy team this year and uh, paid dividends. I actually traded him. <laughs> I sold him high and uh, I figured what I got, but he did well for me while he was on my team. Crystal Tang, nice. Next pack, Lars Eller, nice. I also had him on my fantasy team a couple years ago. Should have kept him, he's paying dividends now. Kuznetsov, Josh Anderson, Klingberg, nice. Dylan Larkin, nice. Denton Heinen, another player I acquired this season on my fantasy team. Darcy Kemper. Andrew Shaw. Oscar Clefbloom. No rookies yet, so I haven't really looked at the odds or what the checklist is looking like, so I don't know what they did this season. Oh, nice, Brock Besser. <laughs> I keep naming off players I have on my fantasy team, and he is killing it. He's also got one of the sickest flows in the NHL, so it's a nice card. Johansson. Oh, here, so another, oh, it's a checklist silver script. That's pretty cool. So just looking at the checklist here, it looks like there's 200 cards in the set, maybe more. Actually, I should look at maybe one of the, one of the later teams and see. 65, are these not in order? Before they used to have them in order of teams, so I don't know how they're organized now, because Rasmus Dallin is 178, and then Teravainen is 85, so it looks like they mixed up the order. I was used to them being in order from like, um, an alphabetical order by team, but I guess they changed it up. Cal Palomari, Nick Ritchie, Wayne Simmons, Ben Bishop. That's a cool looking goalie card. I always enjoy cool looking pictures and cool looking cards. Um, it's kind of one of the reasons I really enjoy collecting hockey cards as I enjoy the overall design. Like I like the layout and the borders this year. They look cool and this card overall just has a nice visual appeal to me. Nice, I like it. Devin Dubnik, Ryan Johansson, Kuhlman, Seth Jones, Andy Gord. Vander Kane, Jack Eichel, oh, here we go, what's this insert card? Nico Heischer, Supernova, Bobby Ryan, 
Vladimir Tarasenko. Hornquest, Brian Hold B. What is this? Oh, cool. So, looks like a puzzle on the back. So it's got like the print on the front and then on the back, Mitch Marner is a piece of a puzzle. I don't know, I guess I'll read about it some more, but interesting. <laughs> Insert card, Marchant, William Carson. Okay, so I got Niku Hishir, base set card. Tuka Rask. Oh, Elias Pedersen. Wait, I got, oh, I see. Okay, so <laughs> Claude Giroux, interesting. Nice that I have bat. So this Elias Pedersen has <laughs> some Kings player on the back. Such a weird card. I don't know if I like this kind of insert card, but there's the base card and there's eight. Who's eight on the Kings? I'll have to look that up. Tammy Panarin, the bread man. Connor Hellebuck, another cool looking goalie card. Goalie cards usually tend to look pretty cool. Oh, cool. Sorry, I got excited there. Jeff Skinner, and this looks like this must be an insert card because it looks like the original upper deck MVP that I used to collect. But it's cool that they, they made it look like that. Jeff Skinner. Damian Severson. I used to have him on my fantasy team, and I traded him away, and now I got him back, so I'm happy about that. And Roman Yossi. Cool. Let me know in the comments, too. Do you collect this set? What sets do you collect? What sets should I collect? Let me know. I've never done an unboxing video before, so let me know in the comments. Gino, Genny Malkin. That's a cool action card. Looks kind of interesting, like his legs are kind of hidden there, so it looks like that's his leg a little bit, if you kind of hide that guy. Weird. Funny, but weird. I like it. TJ Oshi. Oh, there's a rookie. My first rookie. So Carl Grundstrom. Nice. Oops. Sam Reinhardt. And another base PK Subban. So there's my first rookie. 221. So there must be 250-ish cards. Cool. So there is rookies. That's good to know. Let's pack here. Matthew Barzell, obviously, at the bottom there. But we'll go through Jane Schwartz. Another cool-looking look goalie card. Robin Lettner who got traded to Vegas this year. That's a cool looking goalie card. He's got a nice uh, a nice setup there with his pads. Net Crasher, Jonathan Taves, that's pretty neat. And then Matthew Kachuk, and like I said, Matthew Barcel at the bottom there. Only a few more packs left. Jacob Varana. I'm sorry if I mispronounce any of these names. I am not 100% on all the names. Sterni. Cool, so, oh, this one's a gold script. Very cool. Zach. Wierenski, is that how you say his name? Gold script card. So the the silver script parallels 1 7. So this one is 1 in 21, so a little bit more rare. And the supernova, like I got before, was 1 in 50, if you're wondering, and the net crasher is 1 in 34. John Carlson, Clayton Keller. Another fun fantasy team fact if you guys are enjoying those, but I traded one of my uh, first overall draft picks for Sebastian Ajo few years ago it's paying dividends but the player I would have picked and the player that did go was Clayton Keller so let me know what you thought of that fantasy trade in the comments. Riley Smith, Bo Horvat, Patrick Laine, nice. Thomas Grice, man these goalie cards are looking slick this year I'm enjoying them and then Keith Yandel I like, I think because like the goal, I think what it is that is visually appealing about these goalie cards is the uh, the MVP logo is kind of in the five hole area. So I don't know, it just framed really nice. I like it, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what your favorite card is I've pulled so far too. Thomas Hurdle, the Ninja Turtle, Chabot, Riley Stillman, Oh, nice. He's a rookie, too. So another rookie. So that's my second rookie I got. Very cool. Toffoli, he got traded this year to Vancouver, I believe, and Brendan Gallagher. All right. Well, that's a cool-looking card. I like this card. Adam Henrique. That's like the jersey combo. I like that Anaheim jersey. It's uh, it's kind of retro. It's the, almost their original colors and the, a little bit like their original jerseys. Not really, but I like the card. Tyson Berry, this is his first season with the Leafs, so he was on Colorado in this one. Mr. Stamkos, go Granlund, I think I, I can't remember if I pulled him before, and Ryan Sutter. Getting to the end here, only a few more packs left. Jordan Bennington, 
Mr. Winnington. Stanley Cup winner. Rookie, Jordan Bennington. Not a rookie card, but he was a rookie. Mr. Matt Duchesne. Oh, cool. Another uh, parallel. Oh, cool. It's Patrick Line too. So, and then uh, another cool one, Mike Hoffman here. Let's see here. These Stanley Cup Silver Edition cards are 1 in 10 in every pack. So that's the odds of them. All right. Third last pack. Let's hopefully get some more. I'd like to get one more rookie. That's what I'm aiming for here. But all luck the draw, Philip Forsberg. Jonathan Drouin. Oh, sick. Oh, freaking sick. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. Look at this. Rookie Philip Zadina, Silver Script. Freaking right. That's dope. That's pretty cool there. Silver Scripts were one in every seven, and the rookies themselves are pretty rare. So that's a pretty rare card, I'm thinking. Freaking yeah. Nice. That right in the middle there. This is a, oh, it looks like a Mr. Sidney Crosby puzzle back. I don't know how I'm going to put these in the binder. That's the one thing that's confusing me. I'll figure that out, but... Backstrom and Konicki. Travis Konicki? No. Oh, man. Konicki. I've heard it before, and I can't say it, so... Sorry, guys. You're stuck with that. <laughs> you can feel free to correct my pronunciation. I can't even talk in the comments. Last pack here. Last pack. Another cool-looking card and uh, Vasilevsky with the MVP in the five hole that I like so very much. Mr. Ovi, David Rich, Blake Wheeler, and Pollock. Very cool. So there you go. Well, that was a lot of fun. Let me know what you thought of that video. I've never done um, an opening before a hockey card, so I'm just kind of going with the flow here. What do you want me to see? What did I do wrong? Um, what do you want to see next too? Because like, I think I want to do more. This has been a lot of fun. It's something that I enjoy and I enjoy sharing um, and just kind of going through cards and collecting them. So let me know in the comments what, what cards you collect or what do you like to, to see um, in, in openings. Um, I don't know. Should I get more Upper Deck MVP? Try to complete the set? Or should I try something else in the future? Let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know your favorite card I pulled too. Thanks for liking and thanks for subscribing and thanks for telling a friend. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Have a good one guys. See you later. Bye-bye.